What's up, YouTube? I'm Corey, and welcome to my channel, Let's Talk with Corey. But before I get into today's reaction video, wherever you are in the world today, I mean wherever you are in the world today, I really do hope you're having a great day. Let me pause and give a shout out to my subscribers. Whether well, you've been with me since day one or you're just checking in for the very first time, thank you for your support. And to my followers on Facebook, thank you guys for your support as well. Guys, what is going on with Taraji P. Henson? Does she have a point about pay disparities in black Hollywood? And as a woman who has been in the game a long time, was it the right timing for her to come out with issues about pay while doing promos for the color purple? Guys, this is deep. And I'm going to read an article from pride.com. And it says, Taraji P. Henson broke down in tears over pay disparity. And quite frankly, I'm sick of it. And that's what she's saying. After almost six months of negotiating and picketing, the strike uh, strike summer for actors and writers has come to an end. Now, remember, guys, when uh, the strike took place, that put a lot of people out of work. People that were making money on the regular all of a sudden were damn near headed to the food stamp office in some cases because of the strike. And they had to fight through this. And finally, this thing has ended. But it was difficult for actors, behind the scene people who helped to make these movies and, and all the other stuff great. We're out of work. But anyway, it continues. It says, however, just because they're back to doing press tours and interviews doesn't mean actors are, are, are done talking about how much they make for their projects. Pay disparity exists in just about every field and Hollywood is no different. Let's just call it black Hollywood too because a lot of actors, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of black actors and they're all not making great money. Everybody can't be the Denzels, about um, Sam L. Jackson, you know, the big names, even Viola Davis is making money. So, you know, everybody can't get rich in black Hollywood because it's controlled by somebody, right? You just call them gatekeepers and I'm not going to name drop, all right? Because <laughs> it's my opinion and my opinion don't mean nothing. But let me continue. It says in the clip, two cast members from the the uh, retelling of Alice Walker's The Color Purple uh, are, are on serious panel hosted by Gail King discussing the film. One of the big name cast members, Taraji P. Henson, was asked by King about rumors swirling that she may quit acting in the future. At the question, Henson became emotional. Uh, I'm only human and it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to negotiate or renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again, like I never did what I just did. And I'm tired. You know, you can imagine it's pretty frustrating to be in a game for as long as she has, and you're still making peanuts as an actress. Okay? When when your counterparts, I'm not going to say their names, okay, that don't look like her, making millions. Okay? Millions. And even if she make millions, like she said, the math ain't math. And when they start deducting this and deducting that, you got to pay this and pay that. And before you know it, you hell, you're back down to 500,000, you know, from, from, from 10 million or whatever the case may be. But anyway, it says her co-star, uh, Danielle Brooks, uh, provided reassurance and comfort during the moment. This isn't the first time that Henson has discussed struggling to get paid. And guys, I'm going to have a, a little bit of audio for you guys to listen to shortly. What she was owed for her projects in, 2000, in a 2019 interview with Variety, she revealed that, at, that asking for $500,000 for her role in A Curious Case of Benjamin Button, the studio counted with $100,000 and later settled on $150,000. Now, mind you, look at the difference, Okay. She asked for 500 and in the end got 150K, right? And that was a really good movie uh, with, with Brad Pitt. Uh, given Henson's history in the field, she started her acting career in the late 90s. Guys, that's a long time. It's discouraging that she and other black actresses, actresses are still fighting for comparative pay. Uh, with her breakout performance in 2005's Hustle and Flow, Henson positioned herself as a force to be reckoned with. Still, racism 
and misogyny play a role in her fight to be paid what she is owed. And it further says that Hollywood has never been especially kind to black talent, but with the times, with the films of the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, many black actors and actresses began to find a lane of their own. There are often discussions online about being famous versus being black famous, which essentially means that audiences that aren't black also know your work. I would say, for Henson, she is famous. The fact that this hasn't translated to comfort and wealth for her is beyond reprehensible. For black actresses, that means you can be in a film from beloved black classics all the way to box office hits and still not have the fruits of that labor translate into making real money. This problem isn't new. During the strike, it was revealed by many actresses on the Netflix show, Orange is the New Black, that despite being a breakout hit for Netflix, uh, gaining many awards, some of the actresses were still working day jobs to make a living. Now, can you imagine that? Here you are on a hit. Orange is the New Black. <laughs> well, I'm just going to say, as an example, as a loose example, uh, uh, you're a barista at Starbucks on the side. What the hell? Okay. And then it here says, it says, Brooks was one of the stars on Orange is the New Black. And she, I couldn't help but wonder how it feels for her to see legends that have come before her still struggling. What must that feel like to see actresses whose present, which could be your future, break down in tears after revealing that she again was slighted at the negotiating table. The strike revealed that there is a middle class in Hollywood. Those actors and actresses whose faces you know from guest spots and background work and shows you love are probably making the same as you. And that is understandably came as a shock to a lot of people. And it says it continues. When we think about the gender pay gap and racial pay gap, we often think about the fields we work in. But there's still an assumption that everyone in Hollywood is living beyond comfort and to luxury. And that just isn't the case for many. I'm not arguing that every actor needs to be a billionaire, but they do deserve to make a wage that is enough for them to live comfortably and support themselves and their families. Every time some different color uh, celebrity takes a private jet to get somewhere, I can't help but think of the black celebrities who are fighting to be seen as talented and worthy of a comparable income. Even when you break glass ceilings in Hollywood, as a black actress, you still get treated like a strange newcomer by the industry. Henson, Brooks, and all the other actresses deserve to be paid for their worth they bring to their projects. And so guys, again, I'm gonna play a clip uh, from, I guess, the Sirius XM interview where, uh, where Taraji P. Henson was on the panel. And also, I'm gonna put up uh, a, a short clip, but it's, I'm probably just going to do the visuals. You'll be able to listen to the audio of what Monique had to say. You're going to hear names drop like Oprah Winfrey and, uh, and Tyler Perry. But again, guys, you know, I'm going to just roll the clip. I'm really getting tired of black women having the same story. It's breaking my heart. Like 20 plus in the game. It breaks my heart. It's like every time you achieve something really incredible, it's almost like the industry looks at it as a fluke. Like, ah, oh, that was like some one-time thing. So you fall back to the bottom and you gotta negotiate and fight tooth and nail to get what you made the last time when, where's my raise? I haven't, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. Label as difficult because I said one word, and that was no. Now I said no to some very powerful people. What Tyler Perry showed me, Lee Daniels, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, and Lionsgate. When you don't do what we ask you to do. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, what's your thoughts? Now you've heard what Taraji said. You heard what the article had to say. You know, what's your thoughts about all of this? Do you feel that there is a disparity? And amongst black actors versus their counterparts who don't look like them and if it is what what needs to happen to change because when we're entertained we're the we're the people out there that's watching these movies watching these shows we're getting the full entertainment out of it but while on the other side of that coin these people are investing their time to these projects and they deserve in my opinion deserve to be paid what their counterparts are getting 
as well. Now, again, that's my opinion. You guys share your thoughts in the comment. But anyway, guys, as always, thanks for the pull up. Let's talk with Corey. Let's talk with Corey out.